Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a great way to build your portfolio to the moon. Now, it's an easy strategy, and you don't need a lot of money to get started. All you need to do is find some companies that you want to hold on to for the next, say, five or ten years and we are going to begin adding them to your watch list once they're on your watch list you will then be able to see the percentages of change every day whether they are up as high as 15 percent or as low as five percent now with this strategy it's like averaging down but you're also taking profits on a long-term trade that you're willing to keep over time if it doesn't line up with the right uh, strategy that you want to do. So if you want to learn more, stick around, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. So you guys have probably heard of averaging down, but when people average down, they tend to just take an automatic payment and put it into a company every single week, whether it's extremely high or extremely low. That's called basically just... Um, investing over time in a way it's like averaging down now this one specifically what we're gonna do is take your watch list we're gonna put a bunch of alerts on it or you could check it daily now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon um, markets looks like they're probably gonna be closing here pretty soon uh, if not already pretty much close so InnoViz Technology is up 15% today. Now, do you think that's a company that you would want to invest in today? Probably not. Now, if there's good news and you could see it going up 30, 40, or 50% in the next year, then that might be a good idea to invest in it now. But let's go ahead and flip it in reverse. Let's take all these. Now, let's say Kroger. Kroger is a pretty good brand. They're down about 4% today. Now, because they're down, does that make them a bad company? No. Why? Because stocks fluctuate all the time, up and down, up and down. Our job is to identify companies that are going to go up and down, but mainly up on the long run. Companies you don't mind investing in or holding on to for five or ten years. Heck, even six months to a year. But the thing is with this strategy is... If you buy Kroger and it's down 4% today, then you have a potential of it bouncing back and going up to get your profits. Now, if it goes down another 5%, 5%, 10%, 10%, then you as the investor need to decide, do I average down because I believe in this company and I know it will go up eventually? Must be some tough times, hardships, or whatever's happening at the moment for the company. Do I believe in it and know that it's going to go up? Or do you cut your losses take a small loss on one company and continue on. Now those are your options and those are something that you would have to decide for yourself. But say you have all these companies. Now Pepsi, Cola, McDonald's, um, you know, say Kroger, they're not necessarily going to just disappear overnight. Same with Planet Fitness. Now they are slightly down, which you can take advantage of. When you buy something down here and it goes up, you make profit you sell here and then you do it all over again or you can average down over time and wait for a big payout later so as you continue on with this say you buy two or three more shares or five or ten more shares of each of these top percentage lost companies buy some money Buy some stocks in WalkMe, Kroger, New York, Gladstone, and Bean. You're down 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15% down on a company. Now the next day comes through, and maybe you're up a small percentage. Maybe you're up, say, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6%. Now those are going to start increasing into profits, and over time, you can make money. Why does this happen? Well, let's look here. Let's look at a company that is very volatile. Why is this one up 15% today? Well, let's take a look. Look at the volatility of this company. For only being $4.28, as you can see, it's got as low as $3.30 and as high as $5.14, which is great. The volatility on this would be a great 
addition to your portfolio to gain some of those profits. As you can see here, I only have one share, so that way I could track the profitability of this stock over time. But when it goes down below my 395, and I see that it's a good point to buy, like right here, I could have bought in at 398. You buy in there, 100 shares, 10 shares, 1,000 shares, whatever it is that your budget will allow, you buy in there because one, you have something that's controlling the mark, uh, that's able to see the market move up and down by creating only one share position. Now I have alerts and buy 100 here. If I were to buy 100 right there, say even if I missed it and I bought right at the $4 mark, because again, you could buy, uh, you could set limit orders. So I limit order at 404, and I think it's going to go up to 430. It goes up to 432. I sell. That's seven and a half percent. Now that's seven and a half percent on say a hundred shares would be about seventy-five dollars profit. Could take you. It looks like from the 17th, uh, a day exactly one day, right? All else fails, you have 100 shares, it goes south a little bit, maybe you buy 100 more shares, down average, or average down, now you're down here somewhere, because it, again it dropped a little bit, because you weren't sure what was going to happen, no one does, but then you wait and you hold out to get back to that area, you're at 14 or 15 percent again. So when a stock goes down and up, the really key is if you're not holding long term, then the best way to do it would be to capture some of these swing trade strategy investments. If it doesn't work, you hold long term. If it does work, you cash out on 15% of 100 shares. That would be amazing. So just a little food for thought. This is something that I've been doing um, constantly for the last couple of years and I've been able to grow my account very regularly. Now, the only downside about this is you don't know what companies are going to last a long time unless you do your own research. You have to research these companies. You can't just say, oh, this one went up 15%, so I'm going to buy it and it's going to go down. It may stay at this level for months. It may stay at this level for years. The thing is, is what do you do? That is for you to decide. If it goes down, I like to buy. If it goes up, I will sell keep one position in there so you sell 99 shares out of the hundred and you keep one in there for future reference to do it all over again that's pretty much it that's my strategy it's like a averaging down swing trade but if all else fails hold long term strategy I'm gonna work on the name but that's pretty much <laughs> the video there guys I hope you enjoyed don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and you guys have a great day.